All right, what's up guys? Um, today we're gonna go over the uh, glide uh, definition and tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna show you all the glides that I know, okay? And uh, I just uh, figured, I'd, figured I'd add them all in. Um, but we'll go through the basic ones first for you guys, okay? Uh, so if you remember, the definition of a uh, slide is continuous um, contact with the floor, okay? A glide is um, moving smooth and eff effortlessly across the floor, uh, usually up on the toe or the ball of the foot like this. Okay, that is a glide. You know, think of like Michael Jackson. The guy was like, he's like one of my biggest inspirations. Um, he was very, very talented, great, great at everything. Moonwalk, um, a very unique style, okay? Um, so we're just going to jump right into it. You should already be kind of comfortable with, you know, pushing, pulling, you know, push, pull. Um, uh, let's see here. For basics, for gliding, um, again, it's going to come with, remember how we pushed like this? Okay, I'm going to show you a very easy uh, move, it's called a circle glide, okay? It's going to look like this. You can start with making it dramatic or eccentric uh, or, or accentuate uh, if you want with the arm. So you can push out like this. And then you're gonna, you're going to switch uh, feet. Then you're gonna transfer the, the weight and the energy towards this foot, and you're gonna go in a circle. Okay. Now there's two ways of doing this. First way that I just did it is if you're say you're coming out of a running man, so it's gonna look like this. can do that way, or say if you're just standing in motion, or not in motion, standing still, you can have a foot out like this ready to go, um, and you're just going to transfer the weight over like you would. Okay? So you have two options. Um, so again, I'm going to come up close for this so you can see this. Don't worry about my head. So. If you're coming out of a running man, this foot is going to come down. Remember like the step over, or just a, just basically pushing yourself over? Imagine it was flat, right? Remember that one? But now, you know, we're going to use the ball of our foot, because glides are, there's a lot of popping in glides. So you're going to want to get used to putting the pressure down on that. You're going to crank this foot, putting the pressure down on it, right? Okay, get used to that. And you want to get used to kind of skimming the floor a little bit, but transferring the, the energy and pushing it over, not too far. You don't want to be way over here. You want to be about right here. I'm going to scoot back a little bit. Okay. About shoulder width. All right. And then you're going to pop, you're going to pop this, this uh, ankle or this foot. Okay. See how that works? Simultaneous. So as you pop it, weight you lean over your weight leans over okay your hips and your knee this knee pops out as well so get used to doing this if you have to do it you know 20 times get used to it do it 100 times get you know be careful on yourself you know but get used to this motion because you're going to be doing this a lot um, if you don't train your legs at all doing like some simple air squats once or twice a week maybe 10 to 25 like squats, like air squats is going to build up your uh, quads right here and it's going to help you with pushing out and having stronger legs. Um, so anyways, okay, so you're going to come down, skim, or slide out, okay? And this is like a slide glide. They do call it a circle glide, but there is some, there is some sliding and gliding. If you have stronger shoes, you can of course go up, you know, up on, up on the toe out like that, you know, 
but I uh, my shoes are <laughs> these shoes are not strong enough for that and it's honestly about where you put the the weight usually it's on the left side of the big toe about is where you want to usually put the weight um, that uh, takes a lot of practice so don't worry if you can't go up on your toes I don't ever go up on my toes like I gotta invest in some nice like basketball shoes or a really strong shoe if I ever want to do that but I'm content where I'm at I don't mind going up on the balls of my feet like this works fine for me do what works best for you okay so again follow your foot push out sometimes you might get stuck okay go about shoulder width bam right there pop the weight and then drag this foot over okay so it's side by side it's almost like a square but I call it a circle glide okay or that's that's just what it's called pop it now you're on the other side pop the weight again drag it over slide it over pop okay so if we were to count it out okay let's say we're doing a running man let's just go from the and okay so and one okay your ands are going to be your slides and and your pops are going to be your hits or your counts so and um, two and three and four and five and six okay you see how that works anything like sliding spinning um, will be a will usually be a, a count okay this is why counting can help you and it's very important it can help you break down a move um, it can help you uh, with the timing of the move okay and it, it can help you figure it out it help, helps you work through the move okay so again I'm gonna go a little faster so and one and two and three and four and five and six and I went a little fast there but okay you get the point I'll go again one more time without counting, okay? I'll do a couple running men before, so. Okay. So, what makes this a, a glide? Remember, going up on your toes, or going up on the balls of your toes as best you can. Like right here, you should be, bam, as best you can up on the ball of your foot. And then, Okay, try not to have both feet up at the same time. Like you don't ever want to be like this. Okay, <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to go like that. No, you want to have one needs to be flat on the floor at all times before you switch your weight. Okay. So again, crank that foot. Crank that. Crank this. Uh, this foot over. Push. Stop. Okay, get ready to transfer that weight. Okay, now you're on this side. Now you can make it dramatic if you want, like, okay, like that. Pop up as much as you can, push back. Now you're just facing the other way. You're doing the same thing, but you're turning the other way, opposite. Okay. Now, that is how you do it with the running man, like if you're in motion, okay? Um, say you're just standing still, like this, okay? Same thing. Remember, your foot is basically in this position. See? So, we're not going from here. We're just going to go from right here, all right? So, just same thing. Bring the foot over. Once you bring the foot over, pop. Okay, slide. And when you're sliding, if you happen to go up a little bit on the toe, it's okay. All right. As long as when you get to this point, you switch. Okay. Now, how to aim the direction of your... We're going to aim the direction. So, let's say... This, the lead foot is your, is your, is how you steer. So watch. If I want to go in a circle, okay, great. If 
I want to walk, now watch, I'll change the direction. Now you see how I, see how I kind of change that a little bit? Now I'm going like this, not, not like this. Okay? You can also go the other way. You know, it's good to, it's good to go both ways. I'm better at going at my left, but see if you can go both ways. Train yourself. You never know when you're going to want to, you know, go the other way. But yeah, this foot is the lead foot, okay? So wherever I want to go, you're going to, whatever, you just, you aim it in that direction. Okay? Say if I want to go here, just turn the foot. Just pop it, aim it out. Say I want to go right behind you, just turn around. Say I want to go behind me over there, okay? You know? So that's how, that's how you do that. You just want to practice, go, practice and going in like small circles, you know? And practice and going in large circles if you want. Try going in like circles like this. And maybe adding a little bit of a spin. Um, that's my take on the on the circle fly. Okay. Um, there is a front to back glide. <clears throat> this one's really fun. Some people get this mixed up, but it is different. So watch. Front to back glide is going to look like this. All right. You're going to go from coming down from a running man. You're going to land like that. Slide back. Not too far, not back here, that's too far. About shoulder width again, okay? About right there, you'll feel when it's right. Pop, okay? And you're going, at this point, you're going to turn and pivot on the toe. Pop, slide out, and it's complete. If you were to keep going, it would look like this. I'll scoot up closer so you guys can see, all right? Confused with a circle glide. Circle glide is this. Okay, the front to back glide is going from front to back. Here's what it looks like facing the camera. Okay. All right. Of course, again, try going both ways. I'll break it down in a second. doing, you're coming down from a running man, come down on the toe if you can handle it, or the ball of the foot, coming down from a running man, okay, you want to slide back, okay, then you're going to pop it right here, it's like slide, pop, slide, pop, slide, pop. Okay, and I'll show you that. I'll demonstrate that in a sec. Now, see how this foot, this foot right here is on the toe? Okay, you're gonna, you can lean on it a little bit because it's not gonna hurt you. And you can pivot like that. And then that's when it's time to pop again. Okay, now my other side is on, on its toe. Okay, now you're gonna slide back, turn, and it's complete, okay? Here's what it looks like from the back. Let me scoot up for you here. You can push and pull and push and pull. Okay. And yes, for this particular one, I am using my toes a little bit. One, it doesn't hurt that bad because you're when you're at this point, right, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt that bad, you know, so, like right here, you know, I, I'm on my, my toe, there's probably like 
20, 30% of my weight right now when I do this. Switch, okay? Pivot, pivot the toe, pivot on the toe, right? And switch. And then slide out if you want. Or, or you can, you know, go back into it again. Okay, so that is the front to back glide. Um, here's what it looks like again. Uh, let me do it. Let me do it from this side once. So, all right, I'm gonna do a couple running man. So this is definitely a, this is definitely a, it, it's definitely a it, slide slash, you know, glide, but I call it a front to back, front to back glide, you know, but and again, not, not to confuse you, there's going to be some elements of sliding and gliding in both. Uh, take the moonwalk, for example, the moonwalk, you're, it definitely looks like you're gliding, right? But he, he is kind of doing a little bit of both. He's sliding his feet back and then he pops his foot up, okay? So, um, yeah. So, there is those two. Um, there is, let's see. Th those can be really, really difficult in the beginning. I don't want you to give up. Just practice them. If you have to screen record this video or do whatever, you know, go ahead and do it. So that way you can slow it down for you. Um, I'll teach you guys that advanced one next, okay? I was gonna save it for a later video, but I figured why not? So with that video, right, we already have this, or that video, this move, we already know how to do this, right? Okay? So you're just doing this over and over, watch. So just bring the foot to the middle again. For now, push out again. Okay, that's the best way I can break it down for you guys. I'll show you how to finesse it in a sec. So push out, bring to the middle. Push out. Do I want you to do this for now? Okay, until you get the hang of it. So here's how it really looks like. Okay, I'm gonna scoot up so you guys can see. All right, so it's gonna it's gonna look like this. Okay. I've finally gotten it to a point where I don't trip or I don't, you know, mess up as bad as I used to. So what you do, you push out like normal, okay, we know how to do this, that's half the battle right there. Push out, again, not too far, shoulder width is fine, and, that, uh, and you want to go out on your heel, if possible, okay, it's going to help you a lot. You're going you're gonna to have less traction, uh, messing you up, tripping you up on the bottom. So, come out like that if you can, push out, and then come down. Now, remember, we're going to pop the weight. Just happened so fast, you may have not noticed it. You're going to come over, come over, come over, until you're about right here. So, you're going to come over to about right here. And you want to leave enough gap from here to here so you don't, so you don't hit your foot. So, then you're going to crank that foot again like this and you're gonna go out on the heel again. Okay, then repeat. Try not to fall over. Okay, so we're gonna reset. Like that, all right? I felt like that was a pretty good demonstration. So, so again, here's what it looks like. It, it takes a while to get your feet to even like, want to bend this way. So, I, I mean, I am, very flexible and like double jointed, but it at first my foot was like right here, right? I couldn't get it. Now my foot can, now I can really crank it, okay? And it's gonna take you stretching, you know, just you're gonna have to stretch and just get used to, you know, muscle memory, you know? You're not used to this, so it'll come in time. So again, you know, I come down right here. I, I like to get myself ready. Uh, you probably could come right here. You don't have to be like so, so close to this. You could come right here and just push out. And if you do go out flat, it's okay, but just try your best to stay up on your 
on your uh, heel, maybe, and maybe you'll come down on your toe a little bit like this. See how my foot is kind of touching the heel and the toe? That's fine. As long as you can have it up a little bit, because it's going to help you uh, slide over much easier. And then when that, when it's time to transfer that weight, you know, you're going to pop. Okay. All right. I'm going to do it faster. That way you can just watch it a couple times. Okay, so I'm leaving enough room. I'm going to do it towards you now so you can see. I'm leaving enough room so my foot will go under right here. See that? I'm going to do it again. Okay, and look how far back my, my leg is behind this one. You know, I'm like right here. All right. Now I've been doing something lately where I like to go like this. I like to wave my arms to give it more effect. And it's gonna take you a long time before you can even think about using your upper body. But when you do, um, you know, it's gonna make you look so smooth. So, so here's what it looks like with some arms, okay? Okay, I'm going to do it again here. I'm still working on my on going left or right, so I'm, I'm best at going right to left right now, so. But you see how it just adds that cool, it makes you look like you're floating, like you're, you're truly gliding. So that is the advanced, the most like advanced one that I know. Um, I'm going to show you guys one more, um, for now, maybe, um, actually, actually that's going to be it for now, I apologize, um, there's a lot, there's a couple more things that I'm going to put in later videos that belong in in a later segment, so, um, but I showed you four so far, so hopefully, hopefully those help, um, and, uh, just practice, you know, and again, with that advanced one, you know, um, one more thing I thought of, you know, you can try and keep square, but, you know, move your hips with the direction of your leg. So you see how my hips are over here? When this leg goes out, you know, move them. Don't keep them so square. Move them with the leg. Okay, that's, that's the last thing I wanted to mention. So, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, um, give it a thumbs up, all right? I will post the next video after this, part two, um, with Running Man, uh, T-Step, and uh, Glides, okay? To show you how to put everything together. Um, same thing applies, the, the tra universal transition where you bring the knee up, okay? Same thing applies when you, uh, say for doing a Running Man, again, right? Or maybe you're doing a, a let's see, a T-step. Then maybe, you know, you, uh, let's see, pop. Okay. I just made that up, but still, it applies. You know, you could be doing a T-step anywhere. And you see how this leg comes down. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. You can get in and out of anything. That's the beautiful thing about freestyle and and the, these the once you find the transition points, no problem, no problem. So I will go over this more in the next video. Um, stay tuned. Okay, see ya.